Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Ofra and Nikki Tutorials collab, which is so exciting. So she's brought out three new highlighters and a liquid lipstick, which all looks absolutely stunning. So you can get her new collab on beautybay.com if you're here in the UK. But if you're in America or maybe even Europe, then you can get them on ofracosmetics.com. If you are interested in seeing my review, then keep on watching and we'll get started. Okay, so as I said, there are three highlighters in the new collection and I actually only have one, which is this one here, which is Glazed Donut. So this one, I believe, is the most popular right now. Um, yeah, it's kind of like the more kind of whiter one of the collection, um, but I think it's going to suit my skin tone a lot better. So yeah, I have this here and this is what it looks like, like the packaging for it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then this is what the liquid lipstick looks like. So that is the outer packaging for it there. Um, and it's a nice sort of kind of purpley mauve shade which is gorgeous I love those shades on my lips so really really excited for this and this is in the shade Duchess so I'll take them out of the packaging and show you them so here's what the highlighter looks like and as I said this is the shade Glazed Donut and that's what it looks like inside really really pretty very excited for this and then this is what the liquid lipstick looks like they are so really nice kind of simple and sleek kind of packaging which I really really like okay so I'm going to start off with the highlighter and I have two brushes that I'm going to test out with this highlighter to see which one I prefer so I have this one here and um, this is the Morphe R36 brush I really like using this to apply highlighter because it packs on the highlighter and it makes it really really intense and then I also have this brush here which is the Morphe Y13 brush this one's also really nice for applying highlighter but it sort of feathers the highlighter out a little bit more and blends it in so it can look a little bit more natural with this brush and this one sort of like packs on looks quite intense but you still get a really nice finish with that as well so these are my two favourite highlighting brushes and I will be testing the highlighter out with these what I'll do first of all is swatch the highlighter on the back of my hand for you I really like the detailing and the highlighter there it's really pretty okay so that's what the highlighter looks like there and that was just one swipe oh my god it is so intense it's sort of like a silvery kind of white highlighter which looks really really pretty i'm going to use the morphe r36 on this cheekbone and swirl it in the pan like that whoa Oh my god, it's so intense. Oh my god, that is so bright. It's amazing. So nice. My god, look at that glow. It's incredible. That is incredible. I really do like that. Um, it actually looks a lot nicer from the side and actually does look straight on. And that's just like one application of it there. I've only like applied what I picked up my brush just there onto my cheekbone. I haven't went back in and like put anything else on top of that yet. Um, but that's what I get with one application and that is incredible. Like yeah, that is gorgeous. Okay, so what I'll do is, is apply a little bit more on top just to see how much more intense this can go. Oh my god, I'm actually quite scared because it's going to be like highlighted to the moon. <laughs> okay guys, so that's my second layer, like my second sort of application and my god, it's so intense. Like, this is like too much for me on like a daily basis, like I would never walk out the house like this. Um, if you're into that, then good on you like really but like I couldn't go out with this on on a daily basis like during a day anyway but I would definitely wear this at night time okay guys so enough of that side I'm now going to go on to the other side and I'm going to use the Y13 for that okay so this brush will be a little bit more difficult to get into the pan but I'm just going to sweep it lightly across it all there just to pick it up on it okay tap off some excess Seriously. Uh, um, okay. Okay. Okay, so I feel like the Y13 is actually applying it a lot more sort of natural than the 
the R36. Yeah, it sort of feathers it out a little bit more, you know, into like my bronze and stuff like that. So, so it makes it a little bit more natural rather than just sort of like sitting on top of the cheekbone. Yeah, I think this side looks a little bit more natural. Hopefully, it's coming off on camera, is that? But in person, this side does look a little bit more natural so far. Um, I think that's because this brush is a little bit more sort of, you know, like it, it's not as like dense or anything like that, it's sort of more kind of feathery so it sort of blends out really nicely. I'm going to get in with like a second application just to see. Okay so let's see. Yeah I think it blends a little bit more with this brush into like my bronzer and my blush. Yeah. I don't know guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm going to move on now to the lip product. So, so far the highlighter is a big hit. No fact, actually before I move on to my lips, I'm going to apply a little bit of highlight on my nose and my cupid's bow. So I don't want to put too much on my nose, just a little bit. You know, you know, actually a few months ago, Someone said to me that left a comment in my, you know, in the comment section and said that my nose was too highlighted. Like, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Is my nose always too highlighted? Because, you know, I actually don't really highlight it that much. I think it's just like my camera, my lights, and I put a bit of lighter concealer on my nose as well. But the foundation that I always usually wear is kind of like a more glowy, dewy foundation. So I think it's just a mix of that, like on my nose, to be honest. With. I don't know. I personally like it, but let me know, guys, what you think because someone mentioned that and I was like, whatever. So, as I showed you, this is the lip product here. It's an absolutely gorgeous, kind of deep mauve shade. Like, it's going to be perfect, perfect, perfect for this fall time and winter. Oh, it's actually matching my eye look today, like this purpley eye look. I didn't actually mean that to be honest, I just really wanted to do a kind of purpley eye look. Um, but yeah, that's good. So, so far I really like the packaging for the, the liquid lipstick. Now I don't know if I need a lip liner with this, but right now I'm not going to bother and just go straight on with the product. It has a nice kind of vanilla-y kind of cake smell to them. Not bad. It's so pigmented, like, look at that, it's one application, amazing. Oh, I actually didn't even check the finish of this liquid lipstick, like, is it matte finish or a satin? It feels kind of matte, to be honest. I don't know, I'll check that and I'll leave it on the screen for you. This shade is absolutely gorgeous, she's done an amazing job with this shade. Okay, so that's the lipstick on, and my god, this shade is gorgeous, like it really is gorgeous. It's just really fall and winter. Um, it's one of my favourite kind of shades to wear at this time of year, like all, all year round really. I just love kind of mauve plummy shades, they're just really my favourite. Um, so yeah, absolutely gorgeous. It applies really nicely, like the doe foot applicator on it really gets around your lips really nicely. Um, now, I don't know if I would outline, like I might maybe outline like on my top bit there just to make my lips a little bit more pouty, but I actually don't think it needs it, like you like you could get away with this just itself, like, but just because my lips are not the best shaped lips, I would slightly outline them a little bit just to kind of make them a little bit more pouty, but absolutely gorgeous, like I don't feel it's going to run anywhere, it dries down pretty quick, which is good. It is like a matte finish, but it doesn't feel too drying. Um, it's very lightweight on the lips actually, like you don't feel like anything kind of cakey or thick there which is good. Um, yeah, I just, I'm obsessed with the shade, the shade's gorgeous so, oh she's done an amazing job with this shade, like in the formula everything, it's just amazing so yeah, absolutely loving, loving, loving this. Now the lipstick's actually dried in, I'm going to go back into the highlighter and just apply a little bit onto my Cupid's bow. Blend it in. It just adds a little bit of um, dimension just there on my top lip, just to make a little bit more kind of shapes a bit poutier. So, yeah, 
gorgeous. Okay guys, that's me applied both of the products and overall I'm so impressed with it, like really am. Um, the highlighter is absolutely gorgeous, like it really is very intense, very glowy, like amazing for nights out, amazing for parties, anything like that, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, depending what type of a uh, highlighting brush you use you can sort of tone it down a little bit more so it's not as intense me personally I would probably use like a fan brush for it so you can sort of feather it out a little bit more so it's nice and blended and it's not too intense just for like every day sort of thing during the day every day sort of thing like daytime um but nighttime layer it up it is amazing so yeah the highlighter is a big hit like if you are like a highlighting queen like Nikki then definitely give this a go like I'm so happy that I've gotten this and then also the liquid lipstick in Duchess is absolutely gorgeous like the shade is really really pretty perfect perfect shade for this time of the year and I actually don't think I have a, this type of shade in my collection already like I don't think so it goes perfect with this eye look very very impressed with these it's a big hit for me and yep congratulations to Nikki and Ofra this collab is amazing I do do love it as I said there is a couple of other highlighters in the collection um, if you're more darker skin toned they might be great for you okay guys that's it for my first impressions and review of Ofra and Nikki tutorials collab I really hope you liked this video and enjoyed it I hope it really helped you out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really did enjoy it, then give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're brand new to my channel. And I'll speak to you very, very soon in my next video. Bye. Mwah.